So a few years ago, I was uh, snowmobiling and we ended up parking actually on the road out here. I remember looking up at the house and being like, someone has a house out here, what a, what a dream. And then eventually I saw that it was for sale and that it used to be an old lodge. The bones were good, but then like as far as like electrical, water, I mean, I, I basically came in and just upgraded everything to make it feel like a, a real house. I didn't really know much about generators and battery packs and solar and how much I would need. So I'm Steven Lewis. I own and operate Five Star Nomadic. Uh, we do uh, anything power system related from off-grid like this to RV systems to boat systems. So we do a lot of uh, green energy based solar power systems. The first thing we look at is what does the customer need for power? You know, the, the client and I sat down and really s discussed everything as far as what his needs were. The goal was let's create this off-grid property, but also like I want to be able to use a steam, steam room, sauna, jacuzzi. We needed to essentially power a 3,000 square foot luxury house that has electric tankless water heaters. Four buildings basically. We got like a, the garage, the studio, a well house, and then the main house. The well house with its large pump, we've got the fire suppression system. And then we have two RV ports as well. We also have an 800 square foot guest house slash yoga studio. Oh, plus like five different heated floors. So the parameters really boiled down to customer wanted luxury off-grid living with no limitations and no question about if he was going to have power, what he can run, when he could run it, and he needed fail-safe backups for everything. So that, that was the goal, and we definitely hit, hit, hit that goal for sure. So It's a fairly large system for a single residence of any size, even grid-connected. And then now we take out the fact that we're 18 and a half miles from the nearest power line. And at the end of the day, we came out to, you know, 400 amps of, of standard, you know, 120, 240 service. Uh, the first thing I did, uh, I obviously had to involve uh, the guys at Dragonfly Energy. Bill Huss was huge in that. I knew from what our demands were, I knew a basic idea of how much equipment and how many batteries. But I had to take it to Bill and say, can we sustain a system of this size? When Steve Lewis reached out to us and I was brought into the Lodge at Jackson Meadows project, I was thinking this is a perfect application for us. And the system of this scale is even big for a residential system. So having it as an off-grid solution and ensuring that this is going to power what the end user's needs are was, it was really fun. So we settled on 72 Alpha Pier 405 watt panels. So we're just under 30 kilowatts of solar. They're all mounted on custom designed uh, MT Solar Extreme Duty uh, two pole mounts. Working with MT Solar was the perfect fit because they make a robust system that was gonna handle these high snow loads that nobody else in the industry could accomplish. So these are designed around 275 PSF of snow load. And uh, when there's no snow on the ground, the lower edge of the panels are 12 feet off the ground to allow more snow runoff and, you know, basically give us that much more clearance underneath them to just get rid of all of this snow that happens out here. Okay, so the heart of the system begins with four of the Solark 15K limitless units, the master being on the right, and then we've got three paralleled slaves. The energy storage is 4,320 amp hours of Battleborn GC3. They're all configured in 48 volts, uh, giving us home runs to the two outer uh, Midnight Solar 2000 amp disconnect boxes. And then those are uh, uh, co collected here in the third unit and then distributed out to each of the four 15K units. The generator input comes through this three inch M uh, EMT and gets distributed out into each of the inverters for charging. So we can technically charge at a full 80 kilowatts uh, of capacity through the chargers built into uh, the Solark units. Uh, that wiring is run through all of this one and a quarter inch EMT that runs over the ceiling. It's done nice and beautifully. And then the AC output collects back out through the gutter box and into a second 400 amp 
main panel and then distributed out through the third into all of the various systems of the of the property which include a 200 amp main panel at the house with a 100 amp sub panel in the uh, guest house slash yoga studio there's a hundred amps in the shop slash garage with the well house being on that as well so a total of 400 amps of service uh, all of our solar comes in through this four inch emt and it's distributed to the master and the first slave and all three mppts are filled in there giving us a total of 30 kilowatts of solar all coming in through 72 rec Alpha Pier 405 watt panels, which are all mounted on extreme duty MT solar two pole mounts. So there's 24 panels per array. You know, getting out here to do the installation, just getting out here is a pain. So I didn't want to have to think about that if I had a battery failure or if I had an inverter failure. Whatever industry I'm working in, I pick the best in that industry so that I don't ever have to worry about that and my clients don't have to worry about that. Because people pay a lot of money to live this kind of a lifestyle, and they don't wanna have to worry about their power. They don't wanna have to worry about, is there too much snow? Are my solar panels gonna break? Am I gonna run out of battery because a six day storm is coming in? So that's why I pair with Dragonfly with MT Solar. If I can put a battery in one time and not think about it for 15 years, why not? This is exciting because it gives us opportunity to showcase to people what we're really capable of. We can look at this project and say, we could, we could go bigger, we can double it, or we can triple it, or do something that's outside of the box. Uh, this is probably the biggest project I will ever do, unless someone comes along and sees this video and says, I want something bigger. This is a career making project and the, the pride that I have just coming out here and seeing it, just filming with you guys even, you know, knowing what we accomplished out here is just uh, lots of pride, lots of pride in this. I, I built this property to, to share with people and so that's, that's what I do, I share it with my friends and then it used to be a lodge and so I've wanted to kind of honor what that is and so we rent, you know the plan is to rent it out and have weddings and events and parties and when you're out here you like feel like almost like you're untouchable you know but you're not <laughs> nowhere is untouchable <laughs>